Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel DNR. Before starting the video, I wanted to discuss that you need to buy a crystal specimen that has a drizzy that's inside deep so you can make your drizzy inserts. So let's start. So I have here two crystals at the moment and I have mixed my silicone already. This is my favorite silicone that I always use. It's one to one, really easy to mix. So I will link it in the description, the silicone that I buy. So what I'm doing here is after mixing it, I will be pouring it directly onto this crystal. And in my case, I have amethyst. So in my case, I got a little problem here. My silicone was uh, pouring down from different sides. So what I'm doing here is I am using a normal a dry clay here and making a bridge or you can see the outer cover so the silicone don't drip or move here and there and into this second one i'm slowly pouring the silicone so there is a little technique that i'm doing here is that i let my silicone to get a bit on the thicker side so that my silicone is not super thin so it don't drip here and there this is just a little tip i thought i'll just share with you so slowly i'm adding the silicone So the thing about making these drizzy is that I need to have an organic shape. I will not go with a fixed line because when I use this drizzy sil uh, silicon insert into my project, it should have a natural effect instead of the clean lines that you have at the corner. So you can see later on what I'm talking about. So wherever I find my silicon is dripping, I am adding this air dry clay. So just, this is just to show you that there is nothing edited out. I am sharing with you the problem that I, that I got in making this. So we let it cure. So this is the second day. And let's remove the a dry clay first. Oops. It fell. So by the way, I bought these crystals from Etsy. I have a video uh, I think I have linked the shop or you can um, there are so many crystals you can find them on Etsy amazing crystals over there of course when you are buying uh, good crystals they are a bit on the pricey side so this is the cluster that I came out and I was talking about the organic shape you can see that So this is a one-time investment and you bless you can make multiple molds out of this. Of course you can grow your own crystals but by the time these crystal, those crystals will fade or with the moisture they will break out but these crystals you, they, you will have them forever and if you are doing a business there is no issue or no problem you can make multiple molds. So this is the second mold cluster mold and i have made just two of these and one more so i hope you like this little tutorial i have done for you and i have a video that i'm using these molds all as well so like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video